It's getting crazy, folks. Got to be careful. You got to be safe. You got to be aware and paying attention to what's happening, what's going on, because these folks out here are trying to get you left and right. And right now, it's really important. We heard just the other day how uh, Chinese hackers were taking and owning up and claiming responsibility for hacking certain U.S. critical infrastructure facilities and how they're coming after our water supply, they're coming after our banks, they're coming after our hospitals, they're coming after our money, they're coming after us in general, and we got to be careful, we got to be cautious, we got to be alert and aware. Massive warnings coming out from a variety of three-letter agencies and the White House and other entities, the FBI Director Christopher Wray. Also, Heads up, beware. Uh, I believe it was United Airlines or American Airlines, one or the other, reported how they expected that uh, 2024, this Christmas season, 2024, they were expecting the largest amount of people traveling by air that they have seen in quite a while. And uh, this is going to be across the board, okay? I want you all to be careful. I want you to all be safe. I want you all really to try to avoid it if you can, if you can, you know what I'm just saying? I'm not telling you what to do. This isn't travel advice. Uh, I'm not a travel advisor, uh, but I do play. Well, no, I'm just playing. But with what's going on, the last place that I would want to be is inside of an airport now around Christmas time. Okay. Uh, we did a live stream not too long ago and we were talking about how 2024 was going to see potential unit, unit, unity and division. And this particular article that we were reading through and they had discussed the Paris 2024 Olympics as unity and the, and yes, my phone just does this. I don't know why it just shuts off. It just, it's just a thing now. I, I get. I guess. Like, thank you, Samsung, for doing that. <sighs> Which, I mean, if we really want to be honest here, it's a Chinese. This is Chinese phone. Okay, you know, uh, I could go switch to an iPhone, but they're making those in China too. So I'm, I'm screwed here. You know. That's, unless I'm going to go back to the Stone Age and not have a smartphone, which would be nearly impossible to get through day to day life without a smartphone. But regardless, with that being said, uh, they were talking about unity being 2024 Paris Olympics and division being the 2024 U.S. presidential uh, election. And obviously we know, at least you should know, that in 2024 we are going to experience and see a new push by whomever, China, China hackers, the deep state, uh, those in the shadows, you know, them, they, you know, uh, who want to see division and conflict and violence happening uh, in America, that's coming. But much like you wouldn't catch me in an airport around Christmas, you're not going to catch me in Paris in 2024 for the Olympics. Like, it just seems like a terrible idea and a disaster waiting to happen, unfortunately. So uh, I want you guys to be aware of that alert. And also the threats that are coming already exists because we all know 2023 was the year of the banking collapse and banking crisis and and zell transfer issues bank of america issues chase bank wells fargo bank pnc bank ach automated clearinghouse problems the whole nine 2024 is going to be worse and now they are introducing quantum security and quantum technology and quantum computing into this and a lot of folks are saying kevin i don't even know what that means i've tried to and i'm building a simple and easy how-to guide. I got the basics, step one, part one. Go check it out. Link in the description down below, available for everybody. So what I just came across was a little bit alarming, and I want you guys to, uh, to take a second and just read through this with me because I think right now this is the beginning, and it's going to get worse, okay? It's only going to get worse from... The standpoint and perspective of you and I trying to engage with local small business owners, support, you know, our veterans, support local businesses and support charities that do good work, do good things. And, you know, patriotism, support this country, right? Only for us to be taken advantage of and theoretically hacked by whom could be, a, you know, a combination, a collective effort by all parties involved, but I'll let you guys be the judge. I'll let you guys decide. Let me know in the comment section down below. All right, guys, 
Let me get this pulled up here. Florida company, this is Yahoo News and through the Miami Herald, and it says that this Florida company sold its products as 100% American and they were from China, according to the feds. And I'll tell you guys right now, I could have potentially been a victim of this because I like my my pew pew. I like my two way. I like supporting companies that make patriotic products only to be uh, snowed over, lied to, and hoodwinked in this scam. A Florida company that br that brags on its Instagram page that it's America's most patriotic brand was a great American fraud, according to a, a and and it should be according to a federal trade commission proposed order that posted last week products 100 percent american made question mark try made in china owned and operated by u.s military veteran or veterans question mark not that either the percentage of sales going to veterans charities was less than 1 20th of what the company claimed and the company is exoto usa which does business as old southern brass let me know, drop a comment down below. Have you ever heard of Old Southern Brass? Have you ever purchased anything from Old Southern, Southern Brass? And I know that around Christmas time would be an ideal time to make these purchases. And one of the ones that I really like, one of my favorites was the patriotic gun safe or gun holder or shotgun or rifle holder. And it was, it was, it looked like it was made out of like reclaimed rustic wood and it would normally have like an American flag or something engraved on it. And then it had a hinged opening. It, you know, had a lock and key, had a hinged opening and then it would store your AR-15 or, you know, your, your Beretta or whatever you want to, whatever shotgun you want to put. It, it would store it and it was really cool, really nice. But, uh, those are, those are popular gifts, popular items to buy. And this one, Old Southern Brass, I don't think I bought anything from them, but I do think I've, I've seen them before. I think I've come across their products before. And it says that the FTC order puts the company in suburban Orlando while its state of Florida registration puts it in a St. Petersburg commercial space. Both say the person in charge is Austin Oliver, who registered Ex Exoto USA with the state in January. The FTC's proposed order against the company and Oliver which they have agreed to prohibits them from making any false or misleading claims, including any about affiliation with or support of the U.S. military or veterans, the FTC says. It's also, it also requires that $150,000 must be turned over to the FTC, and the Miami Herald reached out to Old Southern Brass through its website on Wednesday. There has been no reply. Bullets, bottle openers, booze, glasses, in announcing the order, the FTC included some examples from the Southern, uh, the Old Southern Brass website. And October 25th, 2022 post said, all of our products are 100% American made and nothing says America like making products right here at home for America, man or woman alike. And you can see these little glasses here. I know I've seen these before. I know I've seen these before. And it says America, gifts for the America man in your life, whether it's a gift for Christmas, Father's Day, birthday, Veterans Day, or more, our gifts will honor the America man in your life with class. With that, we'll leave you to shop until your heart's content. Just know that all of our products are 100% American made and nothing says America like making products right here at home for America man or woman alike. Posted October 25, 2022. And the FTC said that the complaint charges that in spite of such claims, many of the company's products were wholly imported from China or contain significant imported content. The posts would be changed April 27, as would all of the posts in the news section of the Old Southern Brass website. Now, the site's splash page says only that the company is American owned and all orders ship from USA. Speaking of ownership, the FTC said that Old Southern Brass claimed veterans owned it and sold bullets and casings used by the military and 10% of sales would go to the military service charities. Despite the company's claims, the company was not operated by a veteran and the products it sold as being used by the U.S. military were not actually used by the U.S. military, the FTC said. The complaint also charged that the company did not donate 10% of sales to veterans charities as it claimed. In fact, the company claimed charitable deductions that amounted to less than one half of 1% of sales. But one page of the website 
says that in a headline, the company donates 10% of all proceeds to military charities. And beneath that says something slightly different. 10% of old Southern brass profits to select military charities. Also, the product listing that the FTC included as an example of a lie, an engraved 50 caliber casing bottle opener would be handcrafted from an authentic 50 cal casing that was previously used by the US military, remains on the website with the same claim as of Wednesday, uh, 4.20 p.m. Eastern time. And you can see that product right there. And uh, the FTC said the claim of being a 50 caliber casing actually used by the military wasn't true, but the same advertisement remains on the website as of Wednesday afternoon. So let me know what you guys think about the whole situation. Let me know what you think about folks out here pretending to be uh, army veterans or at least supporters of the army veterans and making donations to charitable donations to army veterans and highlighting products uh, pitched and uh, advertised and marketed targeting patriotic America American men, American women, uh, and all coming mostly, primarily, large percentages from China. Uh, did they get hacked? Did you know? Did they not know? Or did they try to pull one over, pull a fast one on all of all of us and their customers, and you know, hope that they didn't get caught, only to find out that they got busted? Uh, have you ordered anything from them? Would you order anything from them? Knowing this, would that change your mind and your opinion about buying from them? Um, and what do you think is going to happen next? What do you think we're going to see more patriotic, sim uh, symbolic patriotic offerings from different companies and businesses now that we have this, you know, uh, current situation going on with these other countries, primarily China? Uh, do you think we're going to see more of that only for it to be? I don't know, maybe not 100% truthful and forthcoming as far as who they actually are, who owns them, where their products come from, and where their proceeds are going. Uh, and does that sway and uh, persuade your opinion about purchasing and supporting some of these products and these companies? I know me personally, uh, I think a lot, of, I think almost everything comes from China. So it kind of like, it kind of like really creates this really strange gray area for how you decide on how you're going to move forward from that. But if somebody is saying that they are actually trying to help and, and, and support and promote a specific and particular uh, American backed organization, veterans, charity, whatever it may be, then I would really like to know that my money is actually going towards that, which is more than likely going to have an impact in my decision in making that purchase. My thoughts, my two cents, let me know what you guys think. And also don't forget, make sure you click the link down below in the description, make sure you get your information, get the latest on how to protect and prepare yourself for this quantum security threat to our finances, to our personal information, our personal data. We have the introduction of digital IDs and RFID driver's licenses and all these changes that are happening all around us connecting us more so to the grid, digital dollars, central bank, digital currency. Uh, we, are, we are essentially going to be locked in. But if we're going to be locked in, then we at least need to do all we can to protect ourselves. Remember, diversity, security, cash flow. Link down below in the description. Be smart, my friends. Take care. And until next time, remember, stay smart, stay safe, watch your six, stay frosty, my friends. Until next time, you guys take care, be safe. See you real soon. Bye. I can tell you my problems, meditating my silence. But I keep pushing my pen, rotating my stylus. Broken is feeling like sin, not no breath, low dollar. Used to be left on red, now all the girls go holler. Now all the girls go follow. All the fake